ินไซต์อาเซียนในวันนี้นะคะดิฉันได้พูดคุยกับคุณทิมโกรเซอร์ค่ะรัฐมนตรีกระทรวงการค้าของนิวซีแลนด์ในโอกาสที่มาเยือนประเทศไทยนะคะนิวซีแลนด์เป็นพันธมิตรกับไทยนะคะและอาเซียนในแง่ของอาเซียนบวก6เป็นกลุ่มที่มีความสําคัญในการประชุมรัฐมนตรีเศรษฐกิจที่กรุงพนมเปญประเทศกัมพูชาเมื่อสัปดาห์ที่แล้วนะคะมีการพูดคุยและหารือกันคืบหน้าในหลายๆเรื่องค่ะดิฉันเลยถามรัฐมนตรีทิมทิมโกรเซอร์นะคะว่าผลลัพธ์ที่น่าจะเป็นรูปธรรมที่สุดจากการประชุมหารือในครั้งนี้คืออะไรค่ะ Well, I think it's very exciting. If we go back just a few years, there was quite a difficult diplomatic problem to be resolved about how ASEAN would move forward with its regional partners. There was a concept called ASEAN Plus Three, which was the ASEAN countries plus the giant East Asian economies of Japan, Korea, China, and a competing alternative of all of those countries plus India, Australia, New Zealand, and. Slightly to my surprise, but my pleasant surprise, the ASEAN countries have been able to resolve that problem with this new idea of RCEP. RCEP, I'm sorry, a terrible acronym, but what it means is a regional economic cooperation partnership. By the end of this year, ASEAN Plus Six have to be moving forward for ASEAN Free Trade Agreement. What do you have to do from now on until the end of this year? Look, I think if you look at it strategically. We're all obviously concerned about the slowdown in the eurozone, about what is the United States going to do after the election on what is called the fiscal cliff, which means the large deficit that the future administration, whoever wins the presidency, is going to have to deal with. And I think uh, for all of the ASEAN countries, for Australia, for New Zealand, we feel we're in a good space because we're in a region of growth. We have a growth story, not just. A message of austerity for our peoples to tell, and it's very strongly bound up with trying to integrate each of our economies into this growth region. So I think, from that point of view, uh, really we're in a very good space and should give our people confidence in their future. Having said that, we all r e c o g n i z e that we are linked back into Europe. You know, I'm very, very interesting to reflect on the fact that the largest trading partner of China is not. Japan and Korea, or the United States, it's Europe. So we're on this boat together. But at least countries like Thailand, New Zealand, and the other countries I've just mentioned, we're at least taking the initiative and trying to do something for our people in terms of export-led growth. You mentioned English education for Thai students in New Zealand. What's the competitive advantage of New Zealand when compared with United States, United Kingdom, and Australia? Very good question, for which there is a single word answer: value for money. Look, if I could afford to send my children to Harvard, if they could get in, because the academic credentials are very high, and pay whatever the fees are, fifty thousand US dollars, if I could do it, go there, get the branded education. You never get better than that. But not all middle-class families in New Zealand or Thailand can afford this. So value for money is a very good proposition. How do you see the place of Thailand among ten ASEAN countries? I mean, this is a very significant country. Um, I think it's going to be very intriguing to see what happens uh, between Thailand and Myanmar. Now that Myanmar is opening up and moving, I think, in a much better direction for the people of Myanmar. I mean, this is a country what almost the same number of people, if I'm not mistaken, but. At a far earlier stage of development, and I, I think you share this huge border with it. If we could see some real stability in Myanmar, powered by help with Thailand helping us, I think Thailand could become uh, a very powerful instrument of progress in this region of Asia. So, we've always seen Thailand in a very, very positive light, and I, I mean it's not a small country. This economy, we, you know, if we could look out of that window in 30 years' time, it would look very different to what it looks now. So I'm very bullish on Thailand. I can assure you. ดูเหมือนจะเป็นความเห็นของเจ้าหน้าที่ระดับอาวุโสของหลายๆประเทศนะคะที่เห็นบทบาทสําคัญของไทยค่ะในการที่จะ